But the big story on Action News tonight is a North Philadelphia church falling victim to fire. The three alarm blaze erupted at about 2.30 this afternoon and attacked the original apostolic faith church of the Lord Jesus Christ. It took firefighters until four to get the blaze under control, but the situation is still affecting traffic and mass transit. Action News reporter Christy Aletto is live on the 1500 block of North Broad Street. Christy, what's the situation? Jim, there's still a heavy response here along Broad Street. As you can see, the sheer number of firefighters out here trying to battle this blaze. Now, the deputy fire commissioner told us that this is a stubborn fire as there's still smoke billowing from the rear of the church. It's been burning for almost four hours with no immediate end in sight. When we pulled up, our companies found heavy smoke and fire inside. We tried an aggressive interior attack. Uh, we were driven out by high heat and smoke. And it's been an exterior firefight for the last two hours. The blaze grew to three alarms, and early indicators show it started in the basement or the first floor of the three story church. Due to the, the construction of the building and the damage it su sustained, uh, we were forced to pull our companies out. So now that's making it difficult for us to actually get water actually onto the seat of the fire. North Broad, just south of Oxford Street, has been shut down at the peak of rush hour. Even SEPTA's Broad Street line has been impacted as water from the firefight has now leaked onto portions of the subway station and rails, forcing commuters to now take shuttle buses. The original Apostolic Faith Church of the Lord Jesus Christ has served North Philadelphia since 1979. Now, a charred skeleton just before Easter. The uh, community family, the service community, devastated. Uh, at this point, there was no reason for this building to be on fire. You know, my, my sister and I, we, we, we closed up Tuesday night. We had service, we had church. And we closed up, cut everything off, made sure the building was secure, made sure the building was safe before we left. We always do that. Right. And then I get a call from my developer friend, Tom, from Temple Nest, that our building was on fire. Now back out here, live fire crews still battling that blaze. We're told that no one was in, inside at the time of the fire. Uh, no injuries have occurred while fire crews have been again trying to extinguish these flames. But the timing of all of this is tough as tomorrow is Good Friday, Sunday is Easter. And right now we're being told that the church has no idea where its congregation will celebrate this holiday. Live in North Philadelphia, Christy Aletto, Channel 6, Action News. Jim. Christy, thank you. Here